Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. In this video we'll show you the setup of GameSir X1 Battle Dock um, adapter, gadget, whatever you want to call it, um, for Android and iOS. Well, I am Android fan, so I'll use Android device. And as far as I know, this device works with Android or iOS devices, but it's very clunky to set up. So um, if you want to get the best um, experience using this device go with Android phone or tablet or whatever so um, and what you see on the screen is basically a Chromecast um, image of my phone so you will see exactly what's happening on my phone while I am doing this uh, setup so I have the QR code I need to scan so we're gonna go step by step and this <clears throat> says step a scan the QR code below to download the GameSir World app, browse the GameSir X1 supported game list and then load the games through the link. So I'll go to my QR scanner. So right now my QR scan is going. So what I'll do, I'm just going to go and scan the code. So it tells me the website. I'm just going to tap open. So it goes to a website, opens up, and this is basically the website telling exactly what to do. Um, overview, unlock the full function for your game server mapper and etc so what i need to do i need to click download for android so tap on the download for android and here we are game sir world underscore v version 3.3.2 so click save the file is get downloaded so file downloading okay Come on, obviously my device is uh, working, but I, I'm just going to turn it off. Um, so right now, that's it. So, it's downloaded. So I tap on the downloaded file for me to install and nothing happens. Oh no, it is. So here we got the actual installation page. It tells me that this app, do you want to install this application? It will get the access to this app can appear on the top of your other apps. Uh, take pictures and videos, um, access approximate location, network base, access pro uh, precise, precise location, GPS, uh, modify and delete SD card and get your phone status. So I'll say install and as soon as this app installs, I will deselect some of the per per permissions because I'm not very happy about this app knowing exactly my location. So um, I'm going to wait until this installs and obviously what I'll do, I'll go into settings and I will deselect some of the um some of the permissions so instead of tapping open i'll click done and i'll go to the app draw so we're gonna type game sir it's not appeared yet so we'll give a couple of seconds game sir tap and hold app info permissions so i don't want this to know my location or phone or do anything to a camera so only storage storage is fine because this app needs to download some of the files set up and etc and your key maps needs to be saved on your phone and backed up so i'm i'm happy with the storage but as the rest of the thing i will say deselect so let's open game sir app so it gives me a uh, a bunch of chai whatever this is this please give the game sir world open the world permissions over thy otherwise uh game give permissions all right yeah okay i already gave permissions what i need so let's leave it so I, a quick couple of seconds uh starting page so that's it this is the actual app it shows you the recommended games and what is working with and etc so now we need to set it up so game spirit most of them is chinese to be honest so uh which is uh well it took me a while to figure out how to connect and I, I totally forgot already so uh let's see how it goes so okay uh, don't download official cloud adapter no thank you right so that's uh, that's working so now i see um like um notification permanent notification page appear, appeared at the top so let's go by the by the by the manual so next step b turn on developer mode option and then go to usb debugging on your phone and turn it on so let's go to settings all the way down 
develop options all the way down and USB debugging turn it on set is on fine okay that's done next thing I need to go back to a game sir so we go went back tap here to start remap function tap here to connect the gamepad okay cancel and tap here to add the game okay that's fine no problem back and just click home so we close the app so let's go back so right now I need to figure out first to change the language or do I have option to change the language because right now I see Chinese at the top which is not great okay obviously I can log in if you, you want to um, I'll leave as it is <coughs> right uh, connecting them <coughs> the mapper so it's a notification so I just went there and tapped on the game so world first thing I need to get my phone and connect to this I'll use my um, five in one USB cable so it's just from normal USB cable I have a mini USB cable adapter twice the USB uh, mini USB the actual iPhone connection and USB C so I'm gonna take this plug that in and then take USB type C and plug into my phone so let's see what's gonna happen so click start okay do I need to press the button yes I need to press the button so press the button it's connected by a Bluetooth to my phone so as you can see right now it's connected it's just play play your favorite games the actual key mapper don't want to work for some reason so let's unplug that and try to plug again anyway that's the message message I was looking for to give this device a USB uh, debugging permission so I'm gonna say always allow and click OK so let's wait and see bingo so both right now of uh, settings are connected so it's easy to connect via Bluetooth and uh, it's a bit far thing with the cable but when it's all connected you can disconnect the cable because you don't need that anymore and now I'll take and I'll plug in my USB mouse and USB keyboard so they're both plugged in and connected so next thing uh, step C is connect the cable like I showed you <coughs> before and just enable the uh, USB debugging and allow this uh, device connect via USB debugging next thing after clicking it will automatically turn into interface games worldwide and successful mapping that's fine you add the games and disconnect the cable and you can connect cable um, USB mouse and keyboard into this and the blue light it, when it's solid it means it's successfully connected via Bluetooth so right now um, we need to add the games what I noticed from a, a bit of testing of this device is you can open the game through this app but most of the times it crashes so what I'll do instead I'll go and open up old-fashioned way just gonna go and run the game and see if that's gonna work as you can see top left uh, I have um, a menu tab here to see buttons and start mapping so okay fine let's quickly let's quickly go through this game sorry about this let's minimize the volume because I don't want the volume blasting so just tap skip I want to skip this this is by the way the Nova the game free game so we're gonna try all this mapping on this game but pretty much you can do mapping on any game you want so that's fine wake up wake up come on so we are up we are awake so continue the tutorial so right now as you can see I have no action nothing with the keyboard or a mouse so but I have an icon which is right now as you can see I'm, I'm moving on a screen if I tap on it I have a couple of options on the screen I'll choose settings I was too slow settings and now I can add buttons to the screen so WASD will go here come on where are you I just I just lost the buttons WASD so you're gonna be here so if I tap back now I can use a keyboard to actually move it move it about 
next thing I need to figure out the mouse movements so if I go on the settings again and I choose the right click button which is gonna be here and the middle one and a shoot when all these three in if I click the middle button the mouse appeared but if I click again I can move the camera about so now I'm using keyboard and a mouse to move about obviously this game is have auto shoot so I just killed the enemy now I need to reload back to the mapper obviously first first couple of game time game plays will be a pain because you need to remap but after you've done everything you can save your map remaps on your phone so next time you just load them on your phone through this app and everything works fine now as you see as camera is blocking the way so let me move the camera I have a reload at the top right hand corner with a question mark as you can see there's a question mark here so I'll leave it there and I'll tap R on a keyboard now is be mapped to a button R so I can exit exit everything and if I press R I reload the reload the, the gun inside the game by the way sorry about if the game is a bit laggy because everything is being screencast I'm using Chrome, Google Chrome cast um, and that's why game can be a bit buggy but actual gameplay uh, on my actual phone that I'm seeing is no problems at all so let's carry on let's carry on and see if I need to remap any more keys so, reload no one here just carry on grab a couple of more reload no one here that's it kill the enemy left okay let's go and this is, I'm playing no game on my phone using this game dock battle dock battle station um, adapter and I can play it with the keyboard and a mouse now there's another 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 button need to map access this so tap on the blue bu bubble click settings drag it over the hand and I'll say this is gonna be E so if I tap E I exiting well I'm right now using the guttling gun so let's go in en en enemies okay you dead you dead you dead now the arrow pop appeared I need to map this one so I'm gonna say this is question mark gonna be G so if I press G so right now I have a lot of keys mapped so I'll go back there to a setting and I'll say save as and give it a name which is gonna be Nova done okay that's it and I just mapped the keys so in the future let's say I, I delete this game for some reason or etc I have the saved uh, maps or key maps so I don't need to faff again and spend precious time trying to remap them again I have everything already on the file for me to go and enjoy the game so basically that's how you set up and use your game sir x1 uh, adapter for your games and in the future I will try other games to use or play with this I obviously I will try to play um, rules of survival PUBG and other other action games and if you have any questions or requests to try some game using this adapter this gadget let me know in the comment section below and I'll do a video about it thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I see you in the future. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you have any questions you want me to get a SAP answer to you, you can follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you in the near future. Bye bye.